far as sea power is concerned or naval power is concerned the aircraft carrier has been the prima donna naval platform since the second world war it brings a capability of presence projecting power dominance in the areas of your national interest in our case it's the indo pacific mainly the indian ocean this uh, issue of fixed island chains and they being a carrier they are uh, static that's like in any airfield along the coastline an aircraft is a mobile airfield which can move 600 nautical miles within 24 hours and this has always been discussed about the vulnerability of an aircraft carrier any platform whether it's in the air land or at sea or including an individual soldier has vulnerabilities it is how you employ a platform in this case the carrier battle group or the carrier task force that brings capability to the nation you can dominate an area you can have presence for a long duration because the carrier task force has staying power whether you want to in in our case where you're looking at the east coast of africa or towards the east in the bay of bengal a ctf can be there for months on along with its supporting ships so it brings huge capability and i don't think so this bogey of the invulnerability of the aircraft carrier is being overplayed